Welcome back. This is my first time uh, playing on this website, uh, subsequent to ranking up on 81 Dojo. I've managed to swear off playing the website for a couple months because it's really addictive, but um, we can't stay out forever. And it's fun to play Central File Rook on this site. You can get some opponents that play really aggressively. So, uh, good luck. I should balance the volume. All right, I've got Gota. So let's see. Let's open this diagonal just to see how exciting we can make this game. Um. Okay, they've not exposed their rooks, so we're gonna try it this way. I'm still hoping. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna push the center pawn just for fun. Not saying this is the most sound way to play things, but boy, can it be fun. Um, and yeah, if you play faster and faster time controls on this site, um, it's possible your object might be just to play exciting games and not necessarily to play sound ones. Um, so they're planning to move the silver up and then push this pawn. Uh, that's a two-step plan. Um, how do I want to deal with this? All right, we're going to deny this bishop access to the center and kind of shut it down this way. Uh, and then tuck our king over closer to the corner. Pretend like we're going to play Anaguma. Maybe actually play it, depending on how that goes. Um, but also, like, the silver's not going anywhere. So... Hmm. Alright, we'll play half Mino. Because that's our favorite castle. Uh, so... Oh, interesting. So they might be playing Anaguma. We're going to try to discourage that. We have failed to discourage them from building Anaguma Castle, so now we're going to attack. Um, so the head of this bishop is one target. It's not the only target. Um, so they've shut down their bishop. We're going to open up our bishop. Yeah, and this is just generally going to be a difficult game. Um, so, how do I press against this? All right, so this is not a terrible idea in this. In this kind of situation, I do want to shut down this bishop as much as I can. Later, I won't have this ability to push this pawn, so I should push it now. Because if they put the bishop out, then it's hard to oppose. So by putting this up first, I can later protect that square. So my silver is doing many duties here. Um, I'm trying to think of how to handle this. Because the silver could be moving up here, too. Just... Well, we get to play third foul rook. Sure, why not? They try to push through, we attack the silver, try to hit the head of the knight. If they push this way, I think I can hit the silver first. And then protect this. Um, unless I've missed something. Now, if the silver moves... No, it can't move up here. So, yeah, let's ask where the silver is going. Confirm that first. All right. And then go back and protect this pawn. Uh, let's see. Might as well shut that down, too. So this knight has difficulty moving out. Okay. Um, 
might as well take this, right? Because this gives my rook an Not avenue enough. into their position. They block this avenue, but now I've got the pawn in hand. Let's see, so... Yeah, we can play this to defend here. Yes, it breaks my castle, and I'm not super thrilled about that, but I don't want to retreat. Not now. Um, try to keep the silver away. Now, I've very thoroughly blocked my bishop. I should not have done that. Um... I'll try to connect our generals back together. Oh, right. Wait, isn't there a problem with that? So, this rook is defending this pawn. What happens if I have this threat? Where do I drop this even? Do I go up here or back here? I think back here is correct. So yeah, their silver is advancing on my rook and bishop. That's just scary. But also, I'm advancing on their rook. So, uh, yeah, they have to go back. And now I can just move the rook over to defend this pawn. And I've taken the second file. Oh! Oh, right. Details do matter, don't they? Um, all right, let's try this. I'm going to feed the Anaguma. Let's see how that turns out. Um, usually it doesn't turn out well. Okay. Let's see, they're attacking my rook. I guess I've got to do something about that. It sucks, but what can I do? Yes, I've not been able to get a wild open center of the board. Um, yeah, this is actually like just me being very heavily constricted here, which is not a lot of fun. Um, oh, there is a path for my bishop, isn't there? Until they block it. Um, okay, let's just promote up here. All right. Uh, they're taking my knight. Uh, there's no trick here. Yeah, I'm just getting bullied. Uh, not that I don't deserve it. All right, whatever. You get my knight. I get your knight. That's a thing. Can I do anything with the knight? Oh, I'm forked. Hey, check that out. That's been there a while, hasn't it? Um, Alright, don't run from a fork is the sage advice that's frequently offered. Let's just take a lance. We didn't need a rook. We didn't need a bishop. What are these pieces doing anyway? All right, I don't want to give up both of those pieces though, so let's make some effort to do something. Um, okay. Interesting. All right, let's make some threats. Uh, 
Continue making threats. See if they notice. Okay, I've got a very well supported attack here. Um, hmm. Guess we'll take this. Why not? Take one of these. Uh, let's see. Man, it'd be cool if I could have some awesome follow-up here. As it stands, I'm just mostly out of pieces. Something. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to continue this. It really looks like there's not a continuation. It's just probably the problem. Here. <sighs> um, hmm. Whatever. Let's try to make use of this. It doesn't really work the way I'd hoped. Oh, wow. That's pretty spectacular. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm taking this guy here. And let's see. Do I have any tactics? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. So... It'd be cool if I could trap this rook, but that's not happening here. Guess we have to push on the head of this gold general to hope there's something there. Um... And, yeah, I don't know what we do next. I guess we can collect a gold this way. It brings us a bit closer to doing something. Right, take here, because why not? Um, Hmm, likewise, this seems plausible or reasonable somehow. Um, maybe I needed to pawn drop in front of their pawn, and maybe there were tactics that worked out somehow. Um, I doubt it. I most severely doubt it, but maybe. Um, yeah, this is bad. Okay, I'm dropping it back here so I can promote it and walk it over toward the king. Meanwhile, they set up some mate threats, which are pretty cool. Um, whoops, don't want to do that. Or do I? I can't tell. This looks fun. Oh no, I'm under attack. Oh no. Who could have imagined that I'd be under attack? Oh no. <laughs> I mean, no, it's just like... Clearly, they've been setting up this attack. So, I can't fear it. I just need to accept that it's there and try to survive it. 
Oh, why did I do that? Because I'm trying to, like, not lose on time. It's a terrible Shogi Wars habit. Uh, yeah, I should have moved the king up one. Oh, that sucks. Make some space for my king. Alright, sure. Why not? Promoting might have been bad. Oh dear. Oh wait, no, I've got the square covered. Just run, 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 as fast as you can. Oh, wait, their bishop can go here. Um... Let's drop that back here. Yeah, I'm not seeing a mate. That's kind of an issue. Okay, I guess we'll take that. That's risky as heck. Thanks for the game. Shogi is an intense board game. Shogi Wars with the timer ticking is also pretty intense. Don't give up. Not with this clock. Good luck. I apologize if I forgot to wish my first opponent good luck. I always mean to do that. Um, yeah, in Japanese there's a better saying that's... Uh, or a more profound saying. I think it's like, Ohio because I must or something like that, something to that effect. Um, it indicates respect for oneself and for the opponent. Um, and so um, I'm not sure how quickly that's going to carry over into the Western world, but... Um, I can still wish players good luck, and people generally at chess tournaments and other board game events understand what is meant by that. Um, all right, put the king in here. I might have messed this up somehow, because like my pawn break with opposing rook in this tactic against the king isn't there. Oh my goodness! Really? Is this how this opening works? This might be how this opening works. Um, interesting. Okay. I think I've forgotten something. It really feels like I've forgotten something here. Ah, Ohio does mean good morning. No, you're absolutely right. I've heard that a lot. Um, all right, so my everything is hanging. Their everything is hanging. This looks like a fun game. So... As long as I take a piece, they take a piece, and we keep this pattern up, it's not too terrible. Although, I understand I have just given a bishop and a rook, 
and allowed them to promote a horse. Um, oh, and they don't even want my bishop. Now, because they don't have a knight, I'm not so afraid of this. Um... Oh, wait, it's like Arigato Gozaimashita or something. That's more like it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's Onagashimas. That's the greeting. You're right. Multiple times I embarrass myself trying to uh, get this correct, but perhaps eventually my memory will stick. Um, yeah. So fear of messing that up is like why I have not tried to do it correctly. Uh, apparently I still have yet to get it correct. So. Um, well, this is not a terrible place for a rook. Uh, interesting. They are... I don't understand this. All right, let's promote this. And my thought was that there might be some tactic here where my bishop moves away and somehow this rook discovery on this rook might not be a bad thing. Um, no, bishop here doesn't quite work that way because they take and that protects the rook. Um, hmm. But what can I do with this kind of position? Why is there nothing? Nothing doesn't sound right. Nanafun. There must be something here. Yes, no, I can just trap the dragon, or rook. No, because it promotes and becomes a dragon is harder to trap. So it's not trapped. That's so weird. Um, regardless, this looks interesting. Oh, sorry, I think I missed a question there, because you say before this game I have a question. I'm not sure if you're asking, like, before I start this game, or prior to this game having started, uh, there was a question that you had. I'm assuming it's about the previous game. All right, we're just going to scare the rook. It's going to become a dragon, and we're just going to cry, and it'll be okay. Why oh, shouldn't I chase... Okay. Yeah, if I'd moved the gold here and then had brought dropped another gold... I could have trapped a rook or a dragon. Um, here, if I try to do the same thing, I'm giving two pieces. Well, no, I could drop a pawn there instead. Not all hope is lost. In fact, yeah, this looks like a good exchange. I attack this, it moves. I drop a pawn, and however this plays out, I'm gaining material while also threatening this point. Um, so, this looks playable. Granted, they're going to get pieces in this corner, they're going to threaten the mate against Mino Castle as soon as my knight disappears. So the knight disappearing needs to be a cue for me to do something else. Uh, okay. I accept this. So now I need to do something about this mate threat. That's just always going to be there. Um, okay, let's make this escape route. Uh, oh, okay. Right, this is a knight and uh, per, uh, gold. So, crap. What do we do? Step one is have a plan. 
Got to get better at step one here. Um, plus my rooks or my dragons in the middle of this fork if things go wrong. Go which is probably not great. Um, yeah, this is so bad. All right, let's have these pieces chase each other a bit. They're more likely going to just defend this and allow an exchange somehow, but it's not like I have a good way to use two rooks anyway. Oh, they don't defend. All right. Makes things more complicated. Um... Yes, this is my best move. Threatening to drop a gold. Uh, yeah, their attack is extremely fast. Mine is not. That is a key difference. Um, we'll, we'll try to make up for it somehow. Mm-hmm. Oh, they have a bishop, so I can't just straight up ignore that. So yeah, I have to defend this point. And now they still have the bishop mate threat. And crap. So... Yeah, I pretty much have no defense here. Um, hmm. That's not great. What can I do against this? That's such a powerful threat. I can try to run. I'm not going to get anywhere. Um, that's awesome. That is a cool threat. Well... Something. The only way I can see to defend this is this ridiculous move. So this prevents a bishop from dropping on the square, because there's already a piece on the square. That's about the worst defense I can come up with, but it's also the best one. Um... Mm-hmm. So what do I do about this? Oh, they're eventually going to... Okay, so like I have to do something like this. And it probably doesn't even work, but I have to try it. So there's multiple concepts here. Um, one is that I'm simply attacking the horse. Two is I'm trying to defend laterally. Three is, I expect this is the focal point through which they'll try to start their attack, so either when they drop here or something similar, I can recapture or uh, run away from it. That's not a drop. That's, that's just giving me a piece. Um, I'll take it. Sure. Why not? I think they expected silver takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they keep trying to make this one threat. It's their favorite threat. They want it to work, but I don't know that I'm going to just let them have it. Um... Nifun. I guess we'll go back. Again, time pressure is contributing to my blunders, uh, and I'm blaming the clock even though it's my fault. So 
Yeah, they have two attackers. I have two defenders plus the king. You really don't count the king as a defensive piece in most circumstances. But yeah, they really want to do this bishop drop on this square. That's, uh, I guess they're going to drop another piece right next to my king. I don't have to take it. All right. Ah, uh, that is a fork. Well spotted, sir. Now they don't have a second bishop to drop right there. Uh, this is kind of ridiculous where we're at right now. Um, hmm. Can't say I expected that. What the fuck is this pawn drop? I guess it prevents my rook from invading. But that's such a weird move. Alright, fine. We'll try to defend this way. So we're just trying to protect our king if it has to run out. But also trying to line up mating threats. Let's take one of these. Let's take one of these too. Uh, let's see. Eep, boom. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. This looks kind of fun. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. This probably doesn't work, but let's dream just a little bit. Oh, am I mated? This looks very matey to me. Yeah, that looks very checkmatey. Thanks for the game. Alright, let's play one more. On this website, we're allowed three games per day. Uh, unless you're playing with friends, and then you can play additional games, but... Um, Three rated games per day. Good luck. Oh, I get sent to this time. All right, here we go. Let's have some fun. It's been a while. I generally am only getting to play this central fabric idea uh, so easily with Senta, so uh, let's not forget to try to protect my king as I build this, and then. Okay, well, that's a bit fun, but hey, um, sure, why not? They've built up a large endgame advantage by pushing there. Um, meanwhile, I maybe get some advantage in this phase of the game, but probably not. Um, I don't know, this could be fun. So I scare their silver away and chase their king, and I'll bring over the rook to join the attack. Might as well take this, right? Uh, do I exchange here? I think my position doesn't really weather a silver exchange very well. Um, 
But if I take, then they'll have to recapture with something. And whatever they take back with is exposed. Yeah, let's take. This looks fun. Okay. Um, let's go back. And I don't know how I intensify this attack, if I can. Oh, right, of course. So my rook's going to come under fire, and that's fine. Holy moly! Whoa! Okay, I'm attacking their lance. I'm attacking the center pawn. I'm attacking this point. Like, everything's under fire here. I did not expect this pawn capture. Yeah, this is my third point. Was I thought I was going to get away with pawn takes pawn. But that's not happening here. Um, let's take this. And then we're threatening the lance drop to collapse their castle completely. Um, sure, that looks fun. Uh, if I take the bishop, they take either of my gold generals, but maybe it's okay. Maybe I just take the silver and be happy somehow. Yeah, this looks fine. It's probably a terrible move. Um, but I'm focusing on trying to prevent this bishop from promoting and taking all my stuff. Um, so I'm threatening horse takes knight, followed by, oh my goodness. Okay, well, we've got a game on our hands, guys. This is an experience. Um, did not expect that. Because Lance takes is just crushing. This is just annihilating, so let's play it. Um, I know we don't want to chase the king. But if I can collect a ton of pieces while also pursuing, like, how bad can this be? Um, okay, let's take this to bring my horse closer. Um, this looks kind of fun. Let's throw one of these in there, and then we could do a bishop fork. Um, okay, so we're not going to get a bishop fork in today, but our horse and all of our other pieces can surround it. Thanks for the game. Yeah, so that's Central File Rook. It's pretty exciting. Um, give it a try if you haven't already. Uh, Obviously, it takes some learning to completely get the hang of it, but it's a fun one to learn. So, yeah, I hope we enjoyed these games together. I'll see you next time.